So I've been running the Ronin Tactics War Belt and it's it's a really great belt. It's been working for me. I've had it for about two years now. Um, some people said that you would need more than just this belt to do repelling or rock climbing, but um, I've already done that with just this belt and without uh, leg harnesses. It does come with this D-ring. Um, metal on metal is never good, and since this is metal, eventually uh, it will fail on you, so I, I do not recommend it for rock climbing, um, but for helicopter extract, uh, it, this will definitely work. Um, if you're top roping inside a rock climbing gym, also that'll work. So I do run this belt. It's a very expensive belt, but I try to dual purpose it. Right now it's set up for my everyday use. So uh, being in facilities, flashlight right there, multi-tool right here, uh, personal cell phone, and I usually carry my work cell phone. Um, but when shit hits the fan, it definitely becomes uh, the war belt. I throw the holster because it's all molly webbing. I have the Safari Land uh, holster that slides, locking system that slides right in there. So my holster I carry on a mid ride. And uh, I got my eye pack right here, which is going to carry my tourniquet and my uh, quick clot to plug up those bolt holes. So this is what it looks like uh, in, in its civilian, the civilian use of it when I'm like at work. And it'll, you know, you can hold that D-ring down so you don't need it dangling out. This, this belt has been used for belaying people on uh, the wall, which you can see. And so this is its, its uh, everyday carry. Um, the reason I want to do dual purpose is so I get that muscle memory. I draw this cell phone out so many times as you could see in the first video. Um, that's when I first initially got it and now I've been running it for about two years. I've used it in Operation Lion Claws, used it at Striker Airsoft Field, used it at Warped Ops um, and other fields. So this is what it looks like on an everyday carry and then when shit hits the fan it's going to be M4 mag. M4 mag. And two pistol mags. Uh, the, the good thing about uh, Blue Force gear is it's, it's held up. You know, it's just an elastic material, but it's held up for a couple of years now and uh, I've never lost any gear. Reinserting uh, on an empty mag is a little difficult, but uh, from my training, I usually get into cover when I'm drawing. I don't, I very rarely will do a speed reload. Um, right now, these were fitting the Glock, and these are like M4 mags. So she has the fan, it's gonna be ammo on the side, plus ammo on the plate carrier, which you can see in the other videos. Pistol right here, and then the iPad. Uh, this Ronin Tactics War Belt has, has worked great and for all the people that said uh, you need more than just this D-ring to do rappel work or rock climbing or belaying, you're wrong. I've already done it. Um, would I recommend it? No, because it's metal. Um, as you can, I don't know if you can get a closer shot. You can see the scratches um, already against the stone. So eventually it will fail you, but it's gonna take a long time before that uh, ends up failing you. Um, it's a great belt. 